Come along for a class weekend in person for my PhD program. So I started the trip like you always do, you know, traveling, catching the flight out of my little airport. Um, And the travel gods were on my side because I ended up getting a whole row for both of my flights. Um, And then I get to San Francisco, check into my hotel and spend the evening doing all the homework that I still hadn't finished. Um, And then the next day we actually had a field trip and we actually went to the LGBTQ museum in um, the Castro of San Francisco. Um, And it was actually very interesting. It wasn't what we expected considering how like queer, um, historically queer San Francisco is. We were expecting a bigger museum, but it was very tiny. We finished going through the entire museum in like less than 20 minutes. Um, But that was for my first class of the day. Um, I didn't get any footage of my second class of the day because it was a theory class and like really heady stuff and like I had to focus. Um, But afterwards, we went out to dinner. We went to a dumpling house, had a great time, had some laughs, had some good food. You know, we're never mad about some cohort bonding time. And then went back to the hotel, obviously, and I did some more work that night. Not that you're seeing that, but I did do more more work. Um, And then the next day, we started the day again with theory, gender and queer theory. And obviously, like that sleep rejuvenated me and I was ready. I was engaged in the conversation. And I really wanted to answer the question. Um, And if you're like, what was this question that had you like, having your hand up in the air so much it was about whether um, kink and BDSM is inherently queer. If you follow me on TikTok, then you saw the TikTok video that was in response to this. Um, And if you're like, ooh, I'm intrigued, go to my TikTok and like engage with the video. Let me know your thoughts. Stitch it, duet it. I really want to hear because I have some feels, but I'm not sharing my feels until a few more people like engage with it. And then I'll be like, okay, so this is how I feel about it. But it's really interesting. We had quite a few readings around like queer theory as it relates to kink and BDSM. I can also give you those readings if you're like yo I'd be interested in reading that before I answer your question Jave all right you know I got you um but it was fun and it did lead to like a nice debate between me and one of my friends in the cohort um this the debate is still ongoing just so we're clear um I am not on their position and they are not on my position but I definitely think that I win and I am right um and that's where I'm leaving it I I'm right but also like that's how I feel about most things um and then in the afternoon we had our methods class which is a class all about um qualitative research methods um which surprisingly is what I thought that I would actually like love like oh granted I do love it um but like I also love quantitative methods after last semester so it's just like really fun to see the differences and to like grow more as a researcher in terms of like methodologies um so it's pretty exciting stuff um but then that class day ended um and then we had class on saturday sunday on sunday um but i didn't again did not get any footage of that because i'm a dingus um but in an effort to save money I decided to take the train back home instead of a flight and I regret that decision because the train was delayed seven hours and then it was a 12 hour train ride um but you know I was tired AF but I got my readings done for the next week and you know you can't be mad at the views but um yeah it was it was a time a time was had a time was had am I grateful to be back home and not on a train most definitely and you best believe when I got off the train we went straight to Taco Bell I needed it I needed it